what is poppin everyone welcome back to another video i have been building interior for about a month now so i'm about ready to wrap up this project this week we are just going to pick right up where we left off last week and we are going to do everything in terminal b that we built in terminal a so let's go the interior for the second terminal was a lot easier because I have already built the terminal before this so I was just replicating what I did on the other side just with different airlines and different colors basically the same thing I could not world edit the interior unfortunately like completely copy the entire interior from one to the other because Terminal B is slightly larger. It's like two or three blocks longer than Terminal A. So copying it would not have worked. So I just made myself suffer and I just did everything by hand. World Edit still had a helping hand, but it was not copying and pasting millions of blocks today. So World Edit kind of took a backseat ride on this one. After about two hours of work, I had all of the ticket booths done and I was able to do the security booths. This was super easy as I was just replicating the same design as in Terminal A. So I didn't have to sit and spend 45 minutes trying to figure out what I was going to build. And then I'm just able to copy and paste it to all of the other five security booths in Terminal B. We also can't forget about those interrogation rooms in case somebody tries to sneak over something crazy. So we got to have those. And then just like that, everything in the ticket booth area and security is finally done. The first gates that were built in Terminal B were gates 18, 17, and 16. Or I guess 16, 17, and 18 if you want to pronounce it that way. Um, but yeah, those were the first three gates. And then over here in the corner, there was a big empty area. So I decided to make a giant like kids playland. Um, I know that if I was a kid and I was at like a five hour layover, I would want to go here. I just made sure to put like a giant jungle gym, some like trampolines and video games and stuff. Basically just keep them darn kids busy so that way the parents can have time to go relax and have a nice meal or something on their layover. After the giant kids land is done, I'm able to start constructing the numerous shops that will be lining Terminal B of the airport. These shops will be a lot of fast food restaurants, a lot of like rentals and touring agencies where you can go book tours. I had more of a mindset of let's just make the gate area a giant mall with a lot of shops and stuff to do so that way not a lot of people have to spend a whole lot of time at the gates. There's plenty of things to do and plenty of money to be spent at the airport. The most time consuming part of the entire build was hands down just this giant open area in the main floor. There was just so much space to fill in in so much detail because it's the front of house area. It's what the guests are going to see. So it all had to be beautifully detailed and it just took so long. A lot of switching materials and very little copy and pasting, although some copy and pasting was done. Uh, it just took a very long time and I'm not a huge fan of interior and I was starting to lose patience towards this part of the build, not gonna lie. But I powered through and did a lot of details and I hope you guys enjoy it.
right next to this really cool cake shop, I decided to make an exit for those people who are deciding to leave the secured area of the airport. After the exit, I continued working on the endless amount of shops that there are in this airport. I was getting real tired of making these things. At some point, I felt like I was just making the same thing over and over again, but I powered through. I made it. I made it all the way through, and we have a lot of shops in this. I don't know exactly how many there are, but it's a lot. Finally, almost a month after starting the interior, it is done. The main floor is done and we can now get started on baggage claim, which should be a lot easier because I can copy and paste a lot more down here, a lot less detail in baggage claim. The first thing I built in baggage claim was a drop ceiling. I wanted to have a little bit more design up there rather than just having it be all black and have beams. And then after that, I was constructing the carousels that carry all the bags around in a big loop so then people can find their bag. I constructed eight of these per terminal, so there will be 16 total. I went ahead and added some extra details in baggage claim so that way it didn't look too copy and pasted. And then I also added a restroom so that way there's an even distribution of restrooms in the airport. And then I'm able to move on to terminal A and do the baggage claim over there. It's the same exact thing. The only difference is all the signs are red instead of blue. The last thing to do in baggage claim is this middle section between the two terminals. I decided to do these really cool fancy lighting fixtures and then these two shops right here are going to be rental car areas. Every airport has to have a lot of rental cars for those people that are flying in and maybe not having a car, they need to drive places, they can rent one. So that's what I decided to build here. I ended up having an Enterprise, a Hertz, and then some generic rent-a-car place. And then I built a US Postal Service with a big old cobweb because they suck. And now we are able to work on the back of house areas where all the luggage handling and logistics happen. This was really cool and really fun to build. It was a lot of copy and pasting, which is why I love building stuff like that. And it's really cool just to have the logistics area, the having a behind the scenes, the stuff that people don't see. and. I didn't add a whole lot of detail back here, but I set up just like a cool little underground parking garage site type thing where they can park all of those crazy vehicles that are on the tarmac and stuff. After three hours of constructing back of house areas, the airport is finally completely 100% done on the interior and I am relieved to have this project done because I am ready to do something other than interior. I hope you enjoyed all the interior. I spent 22 hours on camera, 3 hours off camera, 8 hours rendering, 5 hours editing, for a total of 38 hours on this episode. I am keeping track so that way at the end I can have a grand total of how long it took to build the airport. And it's gonna be a long time. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, 
hit that subscribe button and that like button, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!